Hello everyone, Hobbyist here, and I'm going to now be going into the spoiler territory when it comes to My Hero Academia, seeing as how My Hero is going to be debuting its sixth season in the anime at the beginning of October, so I'm going to be cranking out as much My Hero content as I can for the remaining period. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Make sure to leave your comments down below what you thought of this arc and what you're expecting of it going forward. But I'm going to be going into spoiler territory. As you can see, I've got some manga panels already pulled up. So if you are an animes only and you don't want to be spoiled, I highly recommend that you click off now. But for the rest of you who may have recently read it, or like me, who it's been a while since you read it, honestly, this arc honestly is probably my favorite arc in my hero, period. There's got so many big moments strung throughout it, so I kind of want to take it from the beginning. So, the Paranormal Liberation War arc starts at very late volume 26, and it goes all the way to the end of volume 31. So, at the very beginning, when the heroes kind of make their plan, and they figure out that there's this Nomu factory, and they're trying to stop Shigaraki from becoming as powerful as he becomes, uh, one of the big moments that happens that early on is that the, goodness, I hate how I'm forgetting names, but the bunny hero loses an arm. And the thing with Hirokoshi, primarily with this, is that the entire Paranormal Liberation War arc, no violence is held back whatsoever. It's like, it, this is a very violent arc, but it's awesome. But yeah, she loses an arm, and we see that, like, blood flying and then like it's crazy and then as we get later on to where when Shigaraki eventually does escape to where he, he's not fully developed as a successor to all for one but we know based on the last arc that Shigaraki has gotten a huge amount of character development all of these villains have gotten huge amount of character developments so Shigaraki escapes he goes and fights all the heroes Deku uh, gets to progress his all-for-one quirk, excuse me, one-for-all quirk, by learning float. He learns danger sense in this arc, two quirks in the span of one arc. Lemillion gets to play a role in all of this. Um, the Dobby reveal is probably the craziest thing that we learn. We learn that Dobby is Toya who we thought was long dead. But the, the crazy thing about that twist is that it's not like a twist that it's like, Dobby is Toya, dun, 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 and then the chapter ends. No, Dobby goes full scale, he's dancing, he's prancing around, he's doing all sorts of crazy things, and that this reveal is just kind of just thrown out there like, oh, by the way, I'm Toya. And it's really just like watching Endeavor and Shoto react to the fact that they're, that Endeavor's son never actually died, and that he's been alive this whole time, and that Endeavor's final leg as the number one hero is knocked out from under him when they learn about the Todoroki drama and the abuse that he's undergone, and how you're letting a man who is very abusive, which even though all of these statements that he's making are true, it's very different, because it's just constantly one thing after the other, after the other, after the other, that Dobby keeps unrevealing all of this bits of information about Endeavor. And more importantly, he even, out of context, manipulates twice his death to play in their favor. Like, your number one and number two heroes are killing villains. Heroes aren't supposed to act this way. Your number one hero is an abusive piece of shit. So why are you trusting in this guy to be your number one hero? Another cool moment that happens inside of the war arc, Bakugo finally gets called by his hero name. Great Explosion Murder God Dynamite, all in one. It's absolutely great. It, it, it's another high moment. So, looking at this panel at the right, we can see that Deku just goes on a full rage. Deku, inside of this arc, gets more brutal, gets more brutality in. Like, Shigaraki gets burned to a crisp at one point. So, we can see in this top panel, he even mocks the pose of Endeavor and All Might when he beats them all up. Uh, Deku gets his arm chomped by Shigaraki. In fact, 
Shigaraki even hits a stray bullet that uh, erases quirks from the overhaul arc into Aizawa's leg, and Aizawa has to cut his leg off. Like, this arc is... I can't... It, it's... I'm a little lost for words at this arc. There's just so much action, so many good moments. In fact, if you ask me, this arc is probably one of the best war arcs in more recent anime and manga, but also one of the best war arc period because it does so much. It's more than just villains versus heroes. There's so many dynamics and relationships that are at stake here. And the fact that even though the villains if you want to get technical, never really won, as they didn't immediately take out their goal, but they completed their first step at the end of this arc. They threw the entire populace of hero society and turned them against heroes. Heroes started retiring left and right because people no longer placed their faith in heroes, and the whole superhero society gets flipped and turned on its head because of Dobby and all of these events that happen. It's honestly ridiculous. The fact that Aizawa also even loses an eye in the same arc because Shigaraki managed to get a hold of his face and decay that one eye. He didn't get both of them, fortunately, thank God. But there's a lot of coast claws. If you like Aizawa, Aizawa gets plenty of times to shine inside of this arc. Oh, so good, so good. So I highly encourage you, if you are getting close to that point in the manga, that you read all the way through it, because even though there's been times when My Hero kind of dips in quality, even with the manga, this arc really just pulls out the non-stop action and character development and changes and emotion. It's, it's so good. I can't, I can't preach enough at just how good My Hero executes his war arc, especially this one. 